So I'm scrolling through Twitter last night, and I see this tweet. Um, Kevin Porter Jr., like his dad, pulled that trigger right at the right time. Uh, and, you know, I, I'm obviously, okay, what's that about? So you click the video, you see that uh, a Wizards announcer said that uh, on a replay of Kevin Porter Jr. hitting a game-winning shot, says he pulled that trigger right at the right time. Um, and so why is that a problem? Why did it go viral? Why does it need to be fired as soon as possible? Well, unbeknownst to me, and I'm sure unbeknownst to a lot of people, uh, apparently Kevin Porter Jr.'s father uh, spent years in prison for what he said was a accidental shooting, uh, and he was later shot and killed uh, in a bar. So, again, uh, this tweet going viral, Wizards announcer apparently making a uh, disgraceful reference to um, gun violence for pulling the trigger right at the right time. Well, so I click and I watch the video, and I hear that it's Glenn Consor, who is a Wizards uh, alternate broadcaster. He's been their radio guy uh, for a long time. Probably does three to five TV games a year. Um, and I know Glenn Consor, and I know he would never in a million years make that kind of reference um, to gun violence and trauma and something like that as a joke. Uh, so, you know, I, I click through, I'm trying to figure out what happened. And sure enough, uh, it turns out that Kevin Porter uh, was the name of a former uh, NBA actual kind of star, I guess, four-time assist champion. Not very well known, uh, but to an older generation like Consor, uh, you know, he was a pretty good player for a long time uh, and actually played for the Baltimore Bullets, the Washington Wizards' uh, former team. So, as is quite apparent to anybody uh, looking at this, obviously, Glenn Consor mistakenly believed that Kevin Porter Jr. was the son of uh, Kevin Porter, which, again, he is not, but perfectly understandable uh, mistake to make. Announcers call a heck of a lot of games all season long against a heck of a lot of teams, and yes, you'd hope they do all their research and figure all these things out in more detail, but when you're an alternate announcer, I'm not sure you know when you were actually even assigned to work the game, how much time he had to prepare, um, so on and so forth. Apparently, also on the broadcast during the game, they referenced this Kevin Porter Jr. being the son of this Kevin Porter, which obviously, again, he is not, but the announcers were under that impression, which explained, once again, what seemed like a very callous, disgusting reference to gun violence. Instead, was really Kevin Porter Jr., like his dad, pulled that trigger right at the right time, as in knew when to take the shot, and that's what Glenn Contour was referencing, an NBA father, which, again, turns out uh, was not really the case. So, now, here's where Twitter gets dangerous as hell. Of course, the tweet itself went viral as hell. The video's got millions of views at this point, thousands and thousands of likes spread around the world, okay? But, thankfully, you know, eight hours ago, uh, even a Houston sports writer realizes basically what happened. Surely the broadcaster thought, blah, blah, blah. What a ghastly mistake to make. Absolutely, 100% true. And more and more Rockets fans were coming to that realization and saying, oh, God, just what a unfortunate, terrible, tragic uh, mistake. Uh, but leave it to LeBron James to jump in the fray. Hours after that tweet, 9.13 this morning, 10 hours after all this, when everybody basically has, everybody that's really looked into it has come to the realization that it was a really tragic case of mistaken identity. LeBron jumps in. Oh, he thought this was cool, huh? Nah, we ain't going for this. Sorry, but this ain't gonna fly. How insensitive can you be to say something like this? Beat it, man. I pray for you, but there's no place in our beautiful game for you. I mean, you gotta do a little research. Like, you have a massive, one of the biggest platforms on earth. And again, I'm not saying, yeah, Glenn Contour should have done more research. He didn't do a very good job last night. That unfortunate, tragic mix-up could have been avoided by him just, quite frankly, realizing that Kevin Porter Jr. is not Kevin Porter's son. But, obviously, it was a mistake. It was not malicious. He's not trying to reference anything about gun violence. 
LeBron to tweet this this morning after, again, everybody's realized by this point to tens of millions of followers to get 28,000 likes and to go super, super viral after everything has come out is just beyond belief. And again, it, it was out there and it just, it's a pattern for LeBron. I mean, to, you know, in the tragic shooting of Micaiah Bryant, you know, tweeting out a photo of the police officer with, you're next, a uh, clock, accountability. I mean, like, he, he could have gotten this a police officer killed. I mean, you wonder why, you know, why LeBron draws so much vitriol. And I've, I've said, I, I've gotten a lot of heat myself because I think he's, you know, because of longevity, uh, the greatest player of all time. And I've made plenty of videos showing what a basketball genius LeBron is and, and obviously does a lot of good in the community. But it's tweets like this, it's tweets like the one this morning that, you know, could have got a lynch mob to go after Glenn Consor, that just, like, do your research. you got to put more thought and time into this with a platform that you have. Obviously, in this shooting was actually a case of a police officer saving girls' lives from somebody lunging at them with a knife that could have killed them instantly, uh, you know, you, you got to do more research than this, LeBron. The platform that you have, you, you can't make mistakes like this. And, you know, this is this is the danger of Twitter. I mean, you know, LeBron's tweet obviously goes the most viral because he's got the biggest platform. But I'm, I'm seeing this tweet, you know, circle last night, and it's going viral, viral, viral. Everybody's outraged about this disgusting Wizards announcer. And it's like, just think about it, you know, for a second. Like, if this had happened, like, you know, while they're in Houston, say, and then say he's in the arena and, like, people realize, oh, my God, this announcer just said Kevin Porter Jr. pulled the trigger like his dad that got shot and shot somebody. I mean, you can literally, like, get somebody killed. I mean, that's the kind of, you know, implication that, that would make the people, if they're around and, like, in a mob mentality, to, to charge after a guy and, like, be out for blood. I mean, these are real lives that you know, over a, a, a very unfortunate uh, coincidence, mix-up, you know, just wild story, you could get somebody killed. And for LeBron to tweet this 10 hours later, I mean, it's this all over again, it's wrong, it's disgusting, and he's got to be better. Thanks for watching. Scout with Brian. Thumb up, subscribe, B Oringer NBA on Twitter. I'll post the link uh, in the video. Thanks again for checking it out.